half of the valley's scorching heat that enters your home comes through the windows. Adding shade screens can cut cooling costs by up to 25%, and it's a pretty easy do-it-yourself project. To get started, you'll need aluminum screen frame material, screen mesh material, and screen frame corners. There are many options out there, but be sure to get solar screens and not insect screens. You'll also need screen spline, a screen spline roller tool. All of these items can be found at your local home improvement store, sometimes even packaged together in a kit. You'll also need a hacksaw, miter box, tape measure, pencil, utility knife, and safety glasses. You may also need frame clips if your windows do not have a channel. First, measure your window from the inside of the channel. If your window does not have a channel, it's a good idea to install frame clips first, then measure from the inside of the clips. Measure the height and width and write these numbers down. Then measure again just to double check. It's always easier and cheaper to check your measurements before you start cutting. Once you have your window's height and width measurements, subtract the frame corner sizes from those measurements. So, for example, if your window is 32 inches by 21 inches and the corner is a half inch on each side, your new measurement would be 31 inches by 20 inches. With your miter box and hacksaw and safety glasses on, cut the frame to the new measurements. After you've cut all four frame pieces, add the frame corners to build the frame. As you put the frame together, make sure the spline channel is on the inside and facing up on all pieces before you add the corners. Time to attach the screen. Roll out the mesh screen material over your frame. Cut the screen mesh, making sure there's a little excess over all four sides. Take the spline and push it into the spline channel with the roller tool. Is your screen too loose or too tight? Pull the screen out of the spline channel and try it again. Once the screen is attached and looks good, trim the excess with a utility knife. If there's a little extra hanging out around the corners, use a screwdriver to tuck the extra material in. Almost done. If you installed the frame clips, turn the clips 90 degrees, place the shade screen, then turn the clips back into place to hold the screen. Now your home has an added layer of protection from the sun's heat. Learn more at SaveWithSRP.com.